to our podcast. Hello, internet people. Welcome to pre-show. Yay! <laughs> not to, this, not to be confused with this. <laughs> no, you are. I want there dabbing. to be like robots that have that have between dabbing and just I don't even know what the what this motion is. Uh, that is isn't that a John Cena thing? I think it precedes John Cena. What? Just, just like this. This is just that's like not a, a John. This is no. John Cena. No, Jeez, oh my that. god, get it together. This, I mean, that's that. It's just no, like a standard that, like like bodybuilder. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, is just yeah. a bodybuilding pose. Yeah. But it should have a name. I'm sure it does. Uh, Probably. I, I'm sure it. You does. know who would know? Arnold. He would know. He knows all the poses. Since he was Mister Universe. A couple times, yeah. Not as many times as Ronnie Coleman. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, he was like um, Mr. Universe like nine times. Oh, okay. I think in a row. <laughs> okay. Sure. I mean, if you, if you win that many times, you just keep winning. If you had known me 12 years ago, I was super into weightlifting and bodybuilding. So I was kept up on a lot of that crap even, clearly i've given up on it i was gonna even more <laughs> terrifying than you truly are now <laughs> yeah i was oh yeah which I is to say I... uh when when josh is your dm truly oh, truly terrifying on. no uh, uh i i say this without sarcasm <laughs> He's just gone from uh, uh, physically imposing to mentally imposing. It's all about mind games. Sure, we'll call it that. <laughs> Psychic damage equals mind games, right? Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. The f flips right on a four wheeler in my neighborhood. <laughs> Who knows? And it's not like I live in the woods. I live on the dang lake. Yep. It's not like I'm in some backwoods neighborhood. Maybe it's a jet no, ski. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm in a thickly settled neighborhood that's on the lake. Yeah, I mean, because... Yeah, because it was pontusic that people couldn't swim in for a little bit, right? I don't know. Still can't. Yeah, there we go. I don't use the lake. I just look at it smoke cigars on my deck and look at the lake. That's what I do in the evening sometimes. Seriously? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I forgot I forgot this. It's not really news. It's still Nintendo related. Yes, I might be looking since since we have a light news week, we might have <laughs> I might be looking up stuff last minute. Uh, but there's really not a whole lot. There really <clears throat> isn't a whole lot this week. Well, I guess there's I don't know if it came out this week, but there's also Orange is the New Black. That did come out this week. Okay. I have not gotten a chance to binge it yet because right. did have you guys watched uh, season three of Stranger Things yet? Two episodes. Ugh. Left or how, that you've watched? That I've watched. Um, that was that same night that I was having the weird Facebook issues, and then I got so mad, and I had to stop watching because I couldn't enjoy it. Um, it's really, really good. It is also on my binge list. Yeah. As soon as the semester is done, oh my gosh, all of the binging. And then uh, All of the binging. Because I have three papers due tomorrow and a 30 minute presentation tomorrow so yeah um then it was uh we talked about the ducktail stuff and i was like oh yeah that's right i should i should get caught up on ducktails and then it turns out i thought like i only missed one season and i missed three hmm. that they're what? on their fourth season what 
uh like they're about um yeah they're like a third of the way in through their fourth season uh so i watched all of that (laughs) so where are you finding is it just on the disney i've been buying the seasons on itunes you're a good human being it's moderately expensive uh so it was it was a total like 70 bucks maybe it was a little bit cheaper actually now that i think about it because like the latest season pass like the season pass is like 30 dollars yeah and then uh and then the previous seasons were like 15 oh wow um it's 30 yeah with tax it was, it was close to like 70 bucks for what ducktales <laughs> How much? Never mind. That's too much for any DuckTales. Uh, to purchase multiple seasons. Yeah, too much. On iTunes. I don't pay that much for any show. I think it still comes out to slightly less than a dollar and a... Well, no. For the latest season, no. But previous seasons, um, it was about a dollar an episode. Okay, that's about... Par. It just it, like if I had waited until the season was over, the price would have dropped. But yeah, you know, whatever. Uh, I will I will gladly throw money at Emmy Award winning Sam Regal. Uh, so not me. Oh, He's got enough money. <laughs> <laughs> I need that. I was gonna say apparently he was <laughs> eating crabs over the weekend. Yeah. Or last week or earlier this week, something like that. I don't know. He posed for a picture with a crab that looked like it was biting his tongue for a minute. And then I had to, like, actually pay attention to what the picture was. That's the other thing is I need to get, I need to listen to Critical Role tomorrow night on my way to and from school. Because then Gen Con episode is on Friday and Heather and I are going to Gen Con 2020. <laughs> so I'm already starting to save now. Yeah. And we are going to do Bo and Keg. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it works because I'm the short one and I want to go as Keg. <laughs> it will be a casual Keg, though, because I can't do, ar- like, full armor. Just... No. <laughs> Not no. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, we were talking about that at breakfast this morning about wanting to go to Gen Con <laughs> next year. So nice response. I priced out stuff and it'll be expensive, but it'll be worth it. So I thought about going last year because I was in Indiana at the time anyway. <clears throat> and I, uh, but I had to. I am from Indiana, so I have family out there. I was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana, 1984. Really? Yes. Uh, yeah, my mother's side of the family is from out there. Um, wow. So, which is, it's in the northeastern part of the state. But uh, I was out there the week before it happened. Actually, it might have been the week of. I can't remember. Oh, but man. it was really close to it. Yeah. Um, but I had, to co- I had to be back and do my summer school classes I was teaching here. So oh. I couldn't really swing. Because I had already missed the first week of summer school yeah. to do the vacation, so yeah, no, no, I, I have already, yeah, already decided. I am, we're doing this. You gonna drive out or fly out? Uh, we will see. I was looking at flights. It's not a bad drive. How far of a drive is it to get to like days? Like four. To get to- to get Less, to Indianapolis. Uh, a day. A day. Courtney, really? you can get to the Car- you can get to South Carolina in one yeah. day. It was like uh it's like I'm 12, sorry, but when like North South, hours I get. understand. So like, let's see. Like Maine add, to Florida, I understand. Like times. Four, uh, I don't know. Maybe but East West, no, no. Sixteen, seventeen, maybe eighteen hours to Indianapolis. You do that a day. Oh, takes me yeah. it takes 13 to get 13 or 14 depending on traffic to get to where I got in Indiana which is in the northeast yeah ish part and it's okay. probably about another 3 hours south of there to get to Indianapolis so i figure 16 okay. 17 hours then we'll... you leave we at 4 discussing. in the morning and you get there in time for dinner ish yeah or bed whatever yep. <clears throat> or or 
you do the same thing and leave at night and drive through the night because then the only people on the highway are you and the truckers. No, I don't like driving at night. Yeah. Oh, I love nope. driving at night. Nope. Oh, oh. Love driving at night. Nope. I like driving between I like driving four, highway at night. Four and six in the morning. There's a two hour period I like driving in the morning. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I don't like I don't like driving when all the drunks are out at like one. No, or no, no. Two. That's what that's why you're on the <laughs> highway before it ain't, it ain't, it ain't stopping anybody who's had a few pops. Or just yeah, anybody. <laughs> like as someone that has driven to the Cape at night. Dude, I've driven up to Maine. Yeah. You know, you guys know I will drive yeah. up to Maine yeah. after Jamora. Yeah. And like I've driven up at 11, 12, 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Gotten there. I, was, I like driving during the day. I like seeing. I don't know. Seeing? I like, yeah. yeah. I like, Just, seeing. I like seeing. I think that's where the <laughs> sentence stops, probably. Yeah. Full stop. <laughs> no, I'm, I, I like driving at night. I like driving highway at night more than anything, though. Anyway, guys, let's get started. I, we think we should start the show. Yes. So, so that way Courtney can get to work. Yeah, that way I can get to work. I just so. realized, I was like, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, going live in. Wait for the, wait for the counter. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, <laughs> one. Hogan. Coming up on episode 151, DuckTales is good, Nintendo Switch sold a lot, Josh loves Fire Emblem, and much, much more on the 8-Bit Adventures podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 8-Bit Adventures podcast. Uh, I am your host, Sean Hayes. We're bringing you the latest and greatest geeky news of the week with my co-hosts, as always, Courtney Bolin. Hey, everybody. And Josh York. Well, I know what I love best about Fire Emblem is trying to recruit all the cute girls from the other co- houses into my class. <laughs> <laughs> Bad teacher. Is this a dating sim? Uh, <laughs> there yeah, is an yeah, aspect. Yeah, 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 yeah there because is. Because it's, it's yeah. Fire Emblem, so. Because it's Fire Emblem. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all about your <laughs> relationships with your other party members. Yeah. That's a lot of it is. Yeah, and there's some weird teacher student stuff. Yeah, let's not get into that. That's yeah. I will when I talk creepy. about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so so is it basically like the school version of of Grey's Anatomy, where it's just an HR disaster? <laughs> no, it's not that bad. It's okay. All right. No. All right. <laughs> no. This hospital, we call it yeah. uh, HR Disaster General. Yeah. So. Uh, but yes, this is the 8-Bit Adventures podcast where uh, we we talk about uh, the past week's uh, any sort of geeky pop culture gaming news that appeals to us uh, and anything else that might come our way. So. Yeah, uh, but Elon yeah. Musk hasn't released anything new and fun. No more flamethrowers, anything like that. Good. No. Honest, honestly, I'm sick of hearing about Elon Musk and his stupid inventions that haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I'm just sad because I can't afford one. According, you don't need a flamethrower. <laughs> you might. You should not have a flamethrower, Courtney. <laughs> There it is. The, there this it is. is really what I'm trying to get at. Yeah. <laughs> As I say, does anybody really need a flamethrower? No, but we want Maybe. one. Maybe. I mean, I want one. I want to at least fire one off at least once. <laughs> you can get an actual gun easier. Yeah, but fire. Yeah. Fire. Yeah. <laughs> Hairspray, lighter, boom. Pretty much. That's basically the principle that it operates on. Yeah. 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 But big. Actually. I mean, big. I've done the hairspray lighter thing. It's 
pretty significant. <laughs> we do not condone these activities, folks, by the way. Just disclaimer. <laughs> although, the, although if it wasn't apparent that Josh and I already don't condone these activities. Yeah, they by, don't like by our reaction. Fire. I didn't say anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway <laughs> so uh but yes as we talked about at the start of the show fire emblem uh three houses yeah i'll talk out. about it when we get to when we get to quest log yeah okay we can go over news first so <laughs> um but also out this week is a uh, new season of orange is the new black on netflix yes so i have not been watching it megan has been watching it Courtney will be binging it as soon as she's done with the semester. So next week. <laughs> and I will give you guys a little bit of a non-spoiler cast as much as possible. Yeah. All I I know next to nothing about it other than it's girl prison. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um the latest uh season uh deals a lot with uh ICE. So, oh great, yeah, timely. Yeah. We'll say, yeah, the yeah. best government agency. Yeah. Anyway, we don't do politics on this show. Yeah. Uh, They're inescapable. Yeah. 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 That's why bit. we play video games. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we play video games. I play video games for political stuff. Yeah. Like in Fire Emblem. <laughs> like in Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we're, we're gonna have a lot of things that come back to Fire Emblem on this yeah. episode. I feel like. Yeah. So. It's it's just the road to Fire Emblem. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Uh, me. Just like um, I think it's it's today or this week maybe is uh, uh the 30th anniversary of the Game Boy. Wow. Yeah. I don't know. It's also Harry Potter. Eighty nine. Yeah. Came on eighty nine. Yeah, eighty nine. That sounds about right. That's, I was probably, no, nah, I probably got mine in like 1990 or 1991. I was yeah. five or six. That, I mine. think that was about the time that I got mine as well. Yeah. Just Tetris. I didn't have anything else. Just Tetris. Tetris. Uh, and yeah, a game in, called in North America. F1 it racing. Was some, today. Like Formula One racing game and uh, some Ultima game. I forget what it was. I had to forget Ooh. what it was. Uh, it was hard. It still is hard because mm-hmm. yeah. uh, me and my brother Matt got it on an emulator a few years back. Yeah. Just like <laughs> I was like, remember that game I had my Game Boy? I remember it was Ultima, but I couldn't remember what one it was because there's so many of those that came yep. out back then. And he's like, oh yeah, and we found it and we tried playing it again. And we're like, this game is hard. Yeah. Like what yeah. was six year old me? Had no understanding of this. I think if, so. Eventually, like going back and trying to play the Crash games. Oh, like, that was, see, know, that's easy. Know. This game, man. I don't. Uh, I also had Doctor Mario. I had um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the game. <laughs> Did you have the Lion King game? Uh, that was on Game Gear. That was on, yeah. Uh, or Genesis I, or something. I had Tiny Toon Adventures. That was a very difficult game. Um. Oh, what else did I have? I wasn't allowed to have. So, like, I didn't. I didn't. I never had Wario Land. I didn't have Super Mario Land. Um, my friend had Wario Land. I had Kirby's Adventure Dream or Kirby's Dream Land two, but not Kirby's Dream Land one. Um, and I think that was the stuff that came out. Uh, and then much later, obviously, like Pokemon and stuff. But that wasn't until ninety. Uh, Super Super you know, Mario World, Super Mario something, Super Mario yeah. Land, Super Mario Land, or it might have just been called I, Mario Land or something like that. Yeah, I had that. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I can, I've had a bunch. I don't remember everything. I specifically remember Ultima. Yep. And F1 Racing. Uh, but yeah, so here's the 30 years of the Game Boy, mm-hmm. the big old, the big old gray brick that ate four batteries. Classic. Yep. Mm-hmm. Although those batteries last a, a long time in there. Uh, un- unlike the Game Gear. <laughs> Ain't to say. Yeah. You'd be a millionaire know. to have a Game Gear. Well, I still have one. I, th- we had one. I mean, it's <laughs> obviously hyperbole, but. Yeah, I don't know. The amount My... of batteries. You we uh, we never played it. We like played it once and it was like, oh, this is cool. Oh, the batteries are dead. Oh, well, we're done with that. Then. 
I don't know. I, I, my first Game Boy was my, that was mine was a Game Boy Micro. I bought it the first day that I moved into college because my parents wouldn't let me have a handheld system when I was in. So you bought something you could easily hide. You could smuggle places. Yes. Without resorting to unusual methods. Because that only played the Game Boy Advance cartridges. That is correct. Um, It's actually still in my desk. Um, I have, I have one around somewhere. And it had the, and it had the rechargeable. Um, Mm -hmm. But I bought uh, Pokemon Leaf Green. Nice. Was yep. Yep. But nice. that was that was my first that was my first handheld system. Yep. Cuz I wasn't allowed to have one. Yeah. Before that. I filched my cousins for a few months at one point, but they wouldn't act, my parents wouldn't actually let me get my own. Yeah. So. But. Uh yeah. and then in further Nintendo news, uh the Nintendo Switch um, Nintendo released a report on sales figures, uh, is now up just under 37 million units sold. Wow. So, as Josh pointed out, uh, still not as many as the PS2. 150 million, baby! Uh, however, I would say, I mean, the Switch has only been out for three years. True. Uh, which I think is a very impressive number, um, and is, uh, approaching... Super NES numbers, which is, in my in my opinion, is impressive. Um, we are well past uh, Wii U and GameCube numbers, so uh, we are we are past oh, yeah. the point of failure, folks. Yay! <laughs> we are certainly well past Virtual Boy numbers, that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, actually, how many? Excuse me. How many? What? How many did uh, Virtual Boy? Super NES was forty nine. Forty nine million. Wow. Uh, and the NES was sixty million, or like sixty two million. So who knows? I mean, you know, another two years if if the Switch keeps this momentum, I mean, might outsell the 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 old school Nintendo entertainment system, which I would call that a success. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a success already. Yeah. <laughs> it's, and yeah. think of it this way. Well, I mean, you know, there, there has been the controversy around Pokemon sword and shield, but let's assume that the people that the controversy is surrounding a vocal minority and that the majority of Pokemon fans are still going to pick it up in droves and everything. We haven't even hit the point where Pokemon is out yet. Um, cause we yeah. have let's go Pikachu, but that isn't, and let's go Eevee and let's go Eevee. Uh, but that's not considered like the core Pokemon experience. Yeah, so it's, it's a there'll be like game. another wave of Pokemon fans coming in and then another wave and then another wave for animal crossing and then another wave yep. for the eventual Metroid game. Uh, yep. So I yeah. think, mm, I think you're overestimating a bit because I think a lot of that's going to overlap with the people who got it for Zelda, who got it for Mario. I think there will be some overlap. I think I think but, but I think there Pokemon's might be a got lot its of own people that have been fan base, but off. I think a lot of those Metroid and all that. It's so Metroid maybe, the, um, but Animal the, Crossing and Pokemon definitely have their own audiences. Yeah, that Animal have Crossing been. is its yeah. own. Yeah. Yes. Not game. Yeah. Okay. It's like people who like Star. <laughs> it's a perfectly good game. I don't know that I call that it I took off of my sure. pre-orders. Okay. It, You're allowed to uh, like what you like. It's fine. Let's put it this way. It's and and this is going to be some shots fired. It's mm-hmm. more of a game than Idol Champions of the Forgotten Realms. Oh yeah. 100%. Yeah. Cuz cuz those games folks, they're not games. They're based <laughs> on Cookie Clicker, which the the guy that made Cookie Clicker said Cookie Clicker's not a game. Yeah. There there is no gameplay. So, that you know, you could argue that there's actually gameplay, but I don't know. If it's a game that auto plays by itself, uh, yeah. Yeah. Depends um, on your definition of game. Yeah. Also, I don't want to give them robots any uh, any ideas about how to best optimize things. 
<laughs> You're scared of the bots now. That's right. Inevitable. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, yeah. Uh, Nintendo Switch 37 million units sold, um, and it is. And the light is now available for pre-order. Yes. Yep. Speaking mm-hmm. of Game Boys. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Basically, what it is. Yeah. Which um, yeah, I don't know, especially with the with the news that all. Basically, all Switch units uh, of the standard variety are going to be upgraded with the new processor to have better battery life. It then begs the question of, like, I mean, it really comes down to, uh, do I want a a, a watered-down budget Switch versus, you know, a better one for the full price? Um, yeah. As opposed to, do I want a handheld one versus a not handheld one? Because you would think the handheld one would have better battery life. Uh yeah, but my whole thing is, even though I play exclusively in handheld mode Switch, I still love being able to take the Joy-Cons off. Yeah, I mean, that's the other part. Like, that's the the Switch's switching capabilities is the reason why I got it, because I, yeah. you know, can bring just the Switch and not have to bring the dock and stuff like that. And, like, when I went to go visit my dad over Christmas, we played a few games of Smash. Like, just in the living room, because I was able to flip out the kickstand, and... Yeah. Yeah. So. I know I will probably be sticking with my Switch. I will probably not be... Definitely not downgrading to the light, and... Yeah. Probably not even caring to... Well, the, I mean, there'd be no reason to downgrade. Yeah. The only the only question would be do you do you trade in the current one to get the new one with the better battery life? But I I don't how much better is the battery life? Uh so I think the switch currently for for the battery life range is like three hours to six hours. I'm gonna say I probably get about, about three. Right. I get about three on my fire emblem sessions. Yeah. Yeah, for for the, say, the intensive yeah, games. But that's, it's yeah. about three yeah. hours. But I can get uh, most of those shift at work on my switch the new Let's one goes it. up to i think it's four and a half to nine mm. so not not worth when i already have an anchor uh but uh no other supposedly no other effects so you won't like get better graphics or anything out of that so that's fine yeah it's really it's just like a, a plus for new adopters i think but mm-hmm. yeah it's also it does also doesn't snub uh, early adopters either. So. Yeah, mm-hmm. as I said, I have an anchor power core, which gives me yeah sh- the one that I have is the big one, and has two full switch chargers on it. So there's no point. <laughs> is it, is there a cord you can put in it and plug it into a uh, outlet while you play it in handheld? The 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 charge cord that it comes with. Wait, it came with a charge cord. It came with a cord that you then plug into. If you have it put into the dock, it's the cord that goes into the dock. Oh, okay. But you don't yeah. have to have that in the dock. You yeah, I guess just... I never thought about that. No. Yeah. Because yeah. that's how I play when I'm doing, you know, well, well, marathon well. episodes. I guess of... I don't have to take breaks from Fire Emblem anymore. Nope. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> so basically how it's been working is, I'll put it on the dock to charge it, and I'll pick it up and play it for like three hours or so, and then mm-hmm. I'll be like, "Oh, battery's low. Okay, okay, go in sleep mode and put it in the dock, and then I go nope. do whatever else nope. I have to do." It's actually been kind of nice because it forces me to like, "Oh, I got to run out and do some chores, or I have to do I this mean, or that." It's a good way to monitor yourself, but no, if you would just want to get lost playing a day in its entirety, yeah, just just take it out of the dock. And just plug it right into your switch, and mm. it will just yeah. draw from the. Once it charges the battery, it'll just draw right, from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. Never thought of that. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. So I see, my very my very rigid brain was like, that cord is just for the dock. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's for. That's that's how my brain operates normally. Very. Ah, bro. Very yep. stuck sometimes. <laughs> nah, bro. Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm actually I'm thinking about one of these days picking up a second dock. Not a terrible idea. Sean, just so Sean, I don't Sean, have to. I will give you my dock. Uh, well, that works I too. Do not, I do not use it. 
Yeah, but I need the I need the power cord and everything as well. You can get another power cord, but the actual docks themselves are kind of hard to come by unless you get a like third party one, on which can no, Amazon but third party ones can can lock your um, switch. I have literally seen. Well, it yeah, I wouldn't get a third party one. Yeah, I was gonna say, couldn't you just yeah. get a Nintendo one? Yeah, they're harder to come by. I question this, but anyway. in person, in person, in stores, let's put it out. No, Amazon, $85. Yeah, but it probably comes with uh, the power cord and an HDMI cable yep. and stuff like that. Yeah, comes with everything. Yeah. So that would be the only thing, Courtney, is I would need, uh, I would need the power cable as well. I would need a power cable. And I'm like, I'll give you the physical dock. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> no, that's not the part that you're it's that you're really paying for. Yeah. But um yeah, no. Just just because uh it is it is cumbersome enough uh to have to reconnect and connect it from my office setup and my living room setup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So and then buy one more again for the den. Yeah. Wow. No. Wow. Uh, so, last up, finally got around to binging DuckTales, catching up on the on the the latest season. So, um it's a really good show, folks. You should watch it. Throw away your preconceived notions of, "Oh my god, I hate the animation style." Get rid of that attitude. Uh the the stories definitely uh I I dare say actually better than the original series um and uh i actually think the art style um i think it holds up to the original series as well i think it looks great yeah it's like the only thing i like about it yeah they go for a a like really nice comic style um to the point that like there are scenes in which like in background elements or whatever they'll have like comic dots around like solid colors and stuff uh, that I think makes it look really, really interesting. Um, a lot of the character designs are really great now. Um, and the fact they're, they're just bringing in stuff from all over the Disney afternoon. I thought like, Oh, we're going to get references to all these other things. We already have them. We got tailspin. We got goof troop. Uh, we've had, um, goof troop. Darkwing duck, technically goofy movie, but that it will count as goof. Troop. Goofy movie is the best part. Yeah, it's uh, power line. Yeah, it's it's power line is referenced in one of the episodes. Oh, I maybe I'll watch it just yeah. for that. Okay. Yeah, there All there right. is a scene in which they have uh, uh stand out playing. Stand uh, out. And and um, it's a, that's an actual good song, by the way. Uh, that and eye to eye are legit yeah. good songs. Eye to eye, yeah. love. Yeah. Uh, and I they don't have them on Spotify. Video of, <laughs> I actually just watched that video the other day. That movie is still a good movie. It's that a good movie. That actually holds up. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a yeah. freaking awesome movie. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, you, you have no arguments here. So we got just, that. We have for multiple. For those there who may not know. Yeah. Multiple uh, Darkwing Duck cameos and everything. Uh, we, we start to. We actually start to get some. Uh, like plot development for Darkwing Duck inside what? of Ducktales. It's it's what? weird. <laughs> it's almost what? as if like people are you know. It's almost as if Disney's like, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna be able to greenlight like all these shows again, so we're just gonna make Ducktales. Uh, That's actually a better idea. Like make Ducktales the definitive Disney yeah. afternoon show, and we're gonna have them yeah. reference all these other stuff and have them show up as cameos and things like that. Up. Yeah. I think that's a better idea, honestly. I see nothing yeah. wrong with that. So I would say uh, the latest episode um, is a Darkwing Duck episode. Uh, I I don't want to go into the details for spoiler purposes, but um, it's really, really fantastic. Uh, <laughs> and actually, I kind of... So the generally, the episode is kind of about like, like reboot versus original. So it's got that kind of meta thing going on there, but then it mm-hmm. sort of flips it on its, on its head. Um, and uh, and you have the voice talents of Jim Cummings. Who voiced the original Darkwing Duck. So that's see, that's something that's nice. Yeah, that they're still able to do. Oh, and references to the DuckTales video game. What? 
right. where uh, the moon it theme the, comes back. I was going to say, do yeah. they have the moon theme? Yes. The yeah. It, it's rever- via the moon theme. That That's what comes yeah. back to it. Uh, so yeah, th- that's a whole arc is related to the moon theme, actually. <laughs> so, Fun. yeah. Uh, I was like, Disney kind of spoiled it, though, by posting, like, YouTube videos and clips and everything about that uh, as a way to promote the show. So that's yeah. it's already kind of been spoiled. But um, but yeah, basically, uh, the, the moon thing is sung at several points over like a, a two or three episode arc. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, Driz is asking, but will we see Gargoyles show up? I did not see Gargoyles on the poster. Uh, that I think that would be an unusual turn <laughs> for for Ducktales. Uh, Wasn't that Fox? Well, here's or... the thing. So Disney Afternoon was originally on Fox. It was before was Disney it? Channel was a thing. So it was, was it? It, it was on Fox. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! See uh, all that. Yes, just, because like, I could. It, it all mashes together for me. No, that be... time in my life it just. Yeah, because I. Well, had... well it's all mashed together now too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's just but, like. Yeah, I remember it was on Fox because that was one of the channels that I could vaguely get and like everything had to be like going right for me to be able to get that yeah because usually i had like one saturday morning not well well disney afternoon was by definition on like starting at two o'clock yes okay and and i would usually sometimes get home at the end of it okay Yeah, yeah yeah. but not usually like yeah, because I'd get home in the after after school. Yeah. Um, and I'd usually I sometimes catch the end of it, and then I could, and then I would move on to other stuff. But I usually, like all Gargoyles. I watched was one Saturday morning. Recess. I thought it was okay. I wasn't super into it. I think I would appreciate it more now. I remember being on, and I remember watching it just because it was on, but mm-hmm. I don't remember anything specific about it. Yeah, I remember not being like super into it. <laughs> Um, we've gotten a whole bunch of tailspin. We got one episode where, uh, the, the villain of the episode is Don Carnage. So they introduce him, a uh, whole bunch of Cape Suzette references and like Cape Suzette as a location. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We, we, so, I mean, they did have rescue Rangers in the poster. No, uh, they, they haven't shown up yet. So like I'm going to be, I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, and then because Powerline was referenced, they have, I think they have like Max and Goofy in the poster as well. So we'll see them at some point, which like, I mean, if you have Donald in the show and you're going to, ex- and you're going to expand it out, like why not have Goofy and just have Donald and Goofy. Yeah. And guess what? Guess what this leads into? Uh, uh, then you're going to get Cloud Strife showing up at some you point. Are the, you are on the <laughs> And Severoth. Yeah. Yeah. We can yeah. bring in Sora and all the stupid Kingdom Hearts crap. Did this just no, no. No, I, I, no. I don't think we're going there. No, no, I'm just. Joking. Which, if no. they were going to, although with what they're teasing as the the arc, they could go there because it's all about like basically, uh, like every villain in the Ducktales universe banding together, and Scrooge has to form his own, uh, uh force of heroes and adventurers and everything. <sighs> goodness um but yeah uh anyway. and and uh they've done a whole bunch of references to like the the ducktales movie um they did a reference to uh and just a lot of other weird things uh like we we get some stuff on duckworth who did not show up in the series at all during season one um who is the the old butler um i am yeah so we kind of find out what happened what like what happened to duckworth you know is he just not present um and uh actually some like characterization that they that wasn't in the original series but like they've decided to add a bit more backstory to certain characters um Hmm. that i think made them more interesting so uh between like mrs beakley uh glumgold like we get backstory on glumgold uh that is shocking uh is there a pun there I feel no like no it is it is legitimately I, like i felt like that was a pun the way but... you said it it just uh, implied a bit of a pun no not a pun okay. just uh just i'm like really good at delivering it shocking. as it were like a pun to the point that i know what what is a pun 
but a miserable excuse for a joke. Uh, oh, <laughs> nice. So I'm going to steal. That's good. I'm going to use that. Uh, but yeah, uh, really good. Um, I'm watching it on iTunes. Uh, it, I'm sure it will be available it's in, in entirety, I'm sure, when Disney Plus comes out in the fall. So if you can wait until then, you might want to wait. Um, but I, I bought it so that this way I can watch it whenever I want. Uh, it is also currently, I mean, it's probably on Hulu. Maybe. Since Disney uh... has a stake in that now. Let's let's bring up who. Um, Disney's also been doing a really great marketing campaign with it, where they have different characters from the show sing the theme song. Uh, and, but they do they do it like in character, so like, uh, like they do one with Glumgold, who, you know, like basically takes over and just like tries to reframe it as himself, but it's all like really bad PowerPoint presentations and everything. Launchpad does so, it and he can't remember half the words and just substitute stuff with airplane. So and crashing. <laughs> so DuckTales. Yes. Uh 2017 is available on uh Hulu if you have the live TV expansion. Okay, which means that basically you get to watch live TV. So Yes. Yeah. But it's not it is not available okay. with the regular us account. Okay. Yeah. So probably Amazon or iTunes is your best bet. I'm sure they they sell it on Amazon TV or whatever it's called. Episodes of it. But. Yeah. If you're looking for something awesome to watch on Amazon uh, Prime, Vinland Saga. It's a really awesome anime. Four episodes are out. It's a, it's about Vikings. It's pretty rad. Cool. <laughs> Slow, slow start. The first three episodes are slow, but you kind of need to set it up. Yeah. So. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, with that, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this week. It's a bit of a light news week. So, um, it's it. I mean, it's kind of a low period in game news because it's still kind of going into. Still got a while going... before we go into like the holiday season. Yeah. And that's when stuff will really pick up. But, um, although I think tomorrow starts August 1st, and I, I think that's uh, August is when um, Damon X Machina comes out? Or am I, I thinking think Astral Chain? August. Uh, okay. They both, they, they both drop sept- really, really close. One's early September, one's... Yeah. And then, like, Borderland 3's is, like, mid-September, so yep. yeah, I've got a lot of stuff coming out. Uh, Link's Awakening yeah, is also September. Uh, Damon X Machina comes out on nine thirteen. Okay. And Astral Chain. Astral Chain comes out on eight thirty. There we go. So Astral Chain comes out first. Day after yep. my birthday. That sounds like a yep. that sounds like a move that one of Josh's D and D characters would use. Oh, absolutely. And, and shout every time he uses it in combat. Absolutely. <laughs> you know that it's like, i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm really i'm gonna house rule that you have to shout your abilities before you do them like you're in an anime great <laughs> so does that mean i just shout arrowed <laughs> no since, I, it has to be i don't have ability. any abilities that i use anymore or your spells your spells i have to shout my spells yeah just like, like but like you're in an anime <laughs> yeah exactly there you go Sometimes when I played WoW, I would do that just to, like, I mean, on I the voice chat it. as, to, as a joke. I don't want to do it, but I'll I'd do it. I'd play my Demon Hunter and like, it. I beam Yeah. No, the big game that's coming out, like, soon, soon is Madden 20. Is coming out tomorrow. That's, Woo! That's... <laughs> yeah. Sure. Sports! Sure. Yeah. Uh, I bet it doesn't have the amazing RPG elements that MLB The Show has. I can guarantee that it doesn't. <laughs> Are they both made by EA? No. Okay, that would be all one. the other sport. All sports games except MLB is made by EA, pretty much. Okay. Somehow, somebody else got the license to do MLB. But uh, I remember back in the day that there used to be an EA one. But mm-hmm. I think I can't remember. It was a long time ago. Yeah. But at some point, EA lost the MLB license. Good. 
Yeah, because now it's a. Uh, they should lose a, every license. Just a PS4. But EA like, does. I think. I can't remember. Yeah, PlayStation. Actually, PlayStation might do MLB themselves. PlayStation does do oh, MLB. Oh, Sony? Yeah, yeah. You okay. know what? We it's... talked about this once before when I yeah. talked about yeah. the game. But yeah, they have Madden, they have FIFA, mm-hmm. they do NHL, they do yep. NASCAR, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure they do golf. If Tiger Woods golf is still a thing, that was an EA game. I don't know if that's. I don't know if that's a Tiger Woods. It's been a while since a golf game was actually put out. Yeah, it was basically when there was the big Tiger Woods controversy. Like they just stopped making golf games after that. (laughs) Well, golf sucks. They were like, uh, uh." no. There's been some Masters since that. Oh, maybe. I know there's been Mario Golf and uh, Golf Story, which is perhaps the best golf and game. And everybody golf. Because it's, cause it's like, uh, where like... Golf Story, I've heard. Where it's like uh, Legend of the River King is the best fishing game. You want to know why? Because it's not a golf game and it's not a fishing game. They're RPGs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, the Golf Club 2019 featuring PGA Tour is just done by, uh, looks like 2K. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, there we yeah. go. Published no, sports. By sports games. I only like baseball, so I get MLB. Yeah. yeah. That's fair. That is so. fair. All right. That wraps up the news for this week, so why don't we talk about what's going on with 8 bit adventures? Yeah. All right. So, to start things off, um, I was not feeling well this weekend, so uh, there is no comic this week. Um, it's also why, uh, there was supposed to be a post up on Facebook, at least for, for Tales of Jamora. It went up everywhere else just, uh, because I post the Twitch stream directly to Facebook. Um, and it has to be done manually. Uh, didn't go up there, but rest assured it will go up. Uh, and it is up everywhere else of, uh, of Friday's stream. Uh, it was a very good stream. Lot of, lot of twists. Who yeah. boy, that, that game is turning into some kind of story that one dude those plot coins man plot coins uh i think have done nothing but add to the game i think it's great i I I think think they're they're wonderful tuck's use of it this past week 100 percent uh i only wish that the the drawback that i put on it actually matched up to how useful the the benefit was (laughs) yeah Eh. It turned out to just be a win-win scenario for the party. I mean, you're doing that on the fly. It's hard to... Or yeah. did it? Yeah. So, um, but yeah, go uh, check that out. We're not going to... We're not going to give away any spoilers. <laughs> uh, no, but, but there may have been not. a... Uh, you Let's thought just it say w- there might be a vampire in the party now. There might be. There might be. Take your guess as who it might be. It's not who you would expect no it is not no it is or not. is it or is it and and another player may or may not have actually messaged me the day after saying everything okay <laughs> yeah courtney like, uh courtney may have gotten scared on stream uh and the rest of us may have may, may have been startled a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah just I josh didn't because he is a stone cold killer I think it was just more startled with everything. Oh yeah, like everybody was startled perfect. By it was it. it was perfection. It was absolutely. I was perfect. surprised he went all in like that. Oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah. wow, yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. Sorry guys, spoilers. It wasn't me. <laughs> yeah, it, it it wasn't it wasn't me. Um, so, uh, but yes, there have been lots of do memes uh, uh flying around in our in our chat. Yes. In our group oh, chat, so <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> love it. So, yeah, uh, I'm looking real forward to where where this game takes us. Uh, we we are basically rapidly approaching what I think is going to be the conclusion of our current story arc with that game. Um, sort of, well, sort of the arc within uh, the Kraken's Wake. Um, once we this conclude chapter. that, yeah, we'll conclude this chapter. Yeah. Um, and then I think when that happens, the plan is to do like a small mini series, uh, run by Tuck. Um, that's right. We'll see how that pans out depending on the timing. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Since, Tuck. uh, there, there will be, uh, festivities maybe around that time. So we'll see. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Festivities. Stay tuned. Depending, 
on how long it takes us to do this. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, um, and then, uh, as far as game streams, um, just Moonlighter, more Moonlighter. That game <laughs> continues to be great. Um, so did Desert Dungeon last week. We'll do Tech Dungeon this week. Nice. Um, yeah, I think I'll do it this week. Um, I have been, I'll talk more about it in Quest Log, but I have been playing more, uh, uh, Pokemon. So I was thinking about nice. that too. Um, the only catch Pokemon. is, uh, uh, if you dock Pokemon, you have to do the weird little motion control stuff. Um, and I enjoy it much more if I'm not doing that. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, um, let's see, uh, still working on commissions. So Driz, I am still working on your commissions. Uh, I didn't do the art because I didn't do the art stream this week. That's right. No art stream this week. Um, yes. I'll be working on the, uh, the, the brewery logo, uh, for the next one. Um, but yeah. And still just working on Pyramid Skies, doing the coloring for that. <laughs> so. And then, uh, yes. If uh, if you would like to also learn how to get commissions and everything, uh, you can cash in pie cakes, which you get ah. from watching the streams. Um, you can also earn yourself 10 pie cakes right off the bat by becoming a follower. Yes. So... If you're watching, make sure you're following. Make sure to follow this channel. Get 10, 10 free pie cakes right off the bat. I know I've got a commission I'm thinking of. Oh, I've already told you my you to do. Sean, I've already told you my commission ideas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Is it uh the adorable one? For for Josh's. Now I kind of want I I might just do this one for free or whatever is uh, have well, a certain I'm party member just of... going oh so you think you're <laughs> going to approach me <laughs> <laughs> ooh that would be a good one it'd be like the three panels and just be some enemy oh so you're approaching me and then next panel is Jacob and walking towards him <laughs> saying I can't meet the crap out of you if I don't get any closer than third panel enemy oh, 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 oh. so you're <laughs> as close as you like yeah that'd be a good one. <laughs> I'm thinking, no, I want you, I think, to draw one with uh, the party in my game that your ah. character's in. Yeah. Almost like a uh, Star Wars or Lord of the Rings movie poster. Yeah. Type with the juxtaposition of everybody, like, kind of. Yeah. I, 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 I got a vision. Uh, I think the last time I actually did a, uh, a portrait of multiple characters from that game was back when uh, Fizz was still in the party. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Whoa. Uh, and yeah. and uh, it was because it was, it was Darastrix and Leoven and Fizz. Oh, yeah. It was two it was, years ago. It was Easy. Team Facepalm sitting around a campfire. Yeah. yeah. Back when Team Facepalm was actually still a thing. I remember hearing stories about Team Facepalm. Yeah. <laughs> and not just me trying to hold on to days long past. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I'll probably do like a rough sketch of. A very crude sketch of what I would want before I gave it to you and show you. Okay. Stick people I, of where you know, you'd want them. I mean, I can do. Josh is actually a decent no, artist. I, I, I ha can do better. I have I can't. basic artistic talent. I can't. That's why I have Sean's artwork already on my wall. He has pencil skills day. and pen skills. I am good at and copying skills. pictures. I'm good at pi copying pictures when I look at them. I don't have the uh, mind's eye talent that like a real and, artist does. And nunchuck <laughs> skills. Yeah, I have definitely. <laughs> Computer hacking skills. Yeah. Um, it's just like guys with skills. Anyway. But yeah. So, um, but yeah. Let's, let's just not touch that one. <laughs> uh, 30 pie cakes gets you line art. 60 pie cakes gets you full color. Um, and then we'll work out the details uh, when you want to do that. Yeah. So. Um, but, but, but is there anything else? No. Mm -hmm. So. Um, yeah. Tomorrow night. <clears throat> so Thursday. August 1st, tune in 8 p.m. for 8-Bit Adventures Game Night, playing Moonlighter. Uh, and then, uh, no, uh, well, there may be a bonus stream this weekend. Maybe. But maybe not. We'll figure it out when we get there um, to make up for, for the lack of uh, the art stream. Um, and Megan will be away, so... Oh yeah, and, and the dog might be away too, so we might we might do a like a fun time art stream or something. 
Um, Doug, my, Monty might be away. Yep. Oh, so so relevant. Uh, if you've been saving up your your pie cakes to get Monty on stream, uh, yeah, and I do a bonus stream over the weekend. Yeah, don't spend them then because he won't be here. <laughs> So, uh, because that is another thing that you can cash in your pie cakes for, folks. Yes. Getting getting Feed the dog the on Monty. stream. Yeah. Uh, we have get... we have special treats for him now too that are nice and soft say, for his old man. I, say, I meant to, I meant to get him more treats. <laughs> it's your geriatric dog. Yep. He's he's ten. <laughs> ten or eleven. I love the little old boy. Or eleven. I don't I don't remember. Ten ish. <laughs> um. Because I can't, I, I think we got him last 10. He'd be 10. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, he's got bad teeth, so whatever. Yeah, he's a little dog. Little dogs always have bad teeth. Mm. Yep. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that is going to wrap up this news for 8-Bit Adventures. Now it's time for Quest Log. Yeah. <laughs> Quest Log is where we talk about what sort of games we've been playing. <laughs> so, Courtney. Unfortunately, I have had final papers and projects due for school. Uh, most of it is culminating tomorrow. And yes, I still have to final put some final touches on a couple things um, <laughs> that is due tomorrow. Um... So I have I've been playing a little bit of Stardew when I feel that I really can, but I really haven't. You know, I play like a day in Stardew, and then I let my and then I make myself get back to work, and then another day, and then I get myself back to work. So it's it's slow going, very slow going, and I'm still in summer of of year two yeah so I, I i'm still just like waiting for the fall crops <laughs> and waiting for the fall stuff did you uh get the mission to assassinate the grandfather yet no not yet oh no, that, that, that would, comes right after that well comes in i was gonna say uh that would be a very difficult mission to accomplish <laughs> considering he's already dead <laughs> yes oof yeah that that's how you get your farm is it oh, was his wow. farm yeah. yeah, you straight up inherit it. <laughs> yeah, that's how all those games start. Is that yeah. you're like your grandfather or, or great uncle or and, and whoever you, passes and you away, get a... and you inherit the farm. Okay. Yeah. And you get it when you're like terribly like. Oh yeah, you work an office ex... job at like yeah, Walmart. like crazy ex girlfriend style, like not happy job in a big city, and so you move out to this little town in the valley. Uh, that was literally my what I did in my actual real life. Worked in the office, decided to move to Korea. <laughs> Literal. Yep. My life. Yep. So yeah, no, it's it's you know. And teach in a rural elementary school. That was what I did. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, no, I just that and unfortunately, it's been a very task oriented couple of weeks. Gross. School's for fools, kids. No. <laughs> Stay in school. Drink your milk. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Don't drink in school. <laughs> do your drugs. <laughs> um, you no. No, no, no. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sean, what have you been playing before we get on to Josh's Rant. Right before that before we, we get into uh to the before we get into that because I might need to leave early for okay all right uh <laughs> and so I know that he's gonna go on Moonlighter um I've basically just been grinding like floor one of the uh, of the tech dungeon just to get materials and stuff so that way I will be it, the hope is on stream just like go straight through and finish the tech dungeon um to unlock the final dungeon of the game um Ooh. I've also been playing a bunch of Civ six. Um, Egypt is terrible. Uh, basically been trying to get cultural victories with Egypt, which is what it's supposed to be good at and failing every time. And then looking at the <laughs> forums and the strategies and everything. And Egypt is like one of the lower tier civilizations. So like it just loses 
two other sims. <laughs> uh, so that's fun after basically spending an entire day trying to win with Egypt and failing at it. Um, and uh, when I was taking breaks of of my my uh, losses with Egypt, uh, I was playing Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and getting back into that. Um, yeah. Working on my Mighty Nine slash Vox Machina team, um, where it's uh, uh, Lady Sif meets the Mighty Nine. Uh, I've been keeping with that theme so far, so I've caught myself. Uh, I caught a Squirtle. Uh, so I, I defeated oh, best Misty. Pokemon of all time. Um, I caught a Squirtle that I named Speedy because there is no Torterra in the game, so I have to go with my default Speedy name for the uh, the one true Turtle Pokemon. Um, not a member of the Mighty Niner Vox Machina, but Speedy is uh, too powerful for either team. Uh, so, uh, he beat Illidan and Arthas. So, um... But uh, picked up a Charmander from a guy that was just like, oh, I'm, I'm not a great trainer and uh, I can't take care of this Charmander. So I need a good trainer to come by and take this Charmander. Oh, you want a Charmander? Cool. Here's a Charmander. Uh, that Charmander got named Caleb. Because mm. he uses fire. Yay! Uh, so right now I have Caduceus. I have Caleb. I have Yasha. Uh, I think who else do I have in my party? I have Rivali from Breath of the Wild as a Pidgeotto. I have Lady Sif, my Pikachu. And I have Speedy, my Squirrel. Uh, or my Wartortle, actually. So, um, I'm trying to think. I don't think I have collected any other members of the Mighty Nine yet. Um, I trying to find... Uh, when I pick up um, either Hitmonlee or Hitmonchan, uh, if I get a female version, I will name it Bo. Yes. Um, if I, not, it might be like a far fetched or something because far fetched wields that stick. Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to it, it's I'm trying to come up with a difficult one for Ford. Um, yeah, it's it's just. Tough. I mean, I would think like. Oh, I got a Psyduck that I named Donald. Be timely <laughs> with Ducktales, because yeah. if you really think about it, that's what Donald would be. Is a, is a Pokemon that panics to the point of nuclear explosions. Um, yeah. Uh, that would be great. That would be awesome. But yeah, and then teach a rage. Yeah, that would be the best. Is a, a Psyduck that knows rage, and that would be Donald Duck. Um, but let's see. So uh, let's see who else. Not not would be. Oh, that's that's a weird a weird one. Is there a rat Pokemon? Um, well, there's Rattata and Raticate. I'm, yeah. Um, oh, I have a Spiro named Kiri. <gasps> um, which if I was thinking, I would have named, uh, like my, my Pidgey Kiri. So. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just some weird stuff. Um, oh, and I caught, I caught a, a Growlithe that I named Monty after my dog. Yay! So. So, uh, uh, I now could also have the adventures of Speedy and Monty, uh, in my game. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, and right now I ended aboard the SS Anne. Um, they kind of change up the story beats a lot, yeah. um, because like you're not playing as red quote unquote in the game and going after yeah. blue or, uh, Ash and Gary. Um, yeah, but like really I met a... blue and he was like, oh, I'm just here for the party. But I guess like Team Rock is trying to crash the party or whatever, so I'm out. Stay away from them. They're they're dangerous. And he just like leaves. Yeah, and and you have you know your rival is actually more just a friend. Yep. It's like hey, yeah. Let's let's battle. Spoiler alert: uh, you give your your rival buddy uh, the other ticket to the SSN. So that they can get on as well. I just want to be like, no, I'm. I would rather give it to like one of these random people that I meet <laughs> that you know might yeah. actually have an enjoyable time instead of a guy that's like, oh no, a talking Pokemon. <laughs> um, which is what happens was... to Bill. I don't remember him like turning into a Pokemon in Red uh, and Blue. I, I thought he don't... was just like wearing a costume. I think that the. Because I remember that happening. It might have been, um, 
yeah, the later installment. Yes. Yeah. Of so. the the fire red and whatever the yeah yeah. But uh, but yeah, so I got that, and then I got to go fight uh, Guile. I mean Lieutenant Surge. <laughs> <laughs> And then be able to move forward to uh, Spooky yeah. Town. So. Yes, get spoopy. Yep. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of a nice, chill game. I don't have to really think too much because all my Pokemon are super overleveled at this point. <laughs> uh, that's that's the only drawback to catching Pokemon giving you experience points. Um, and then if you chain Pokemon. So if you... Uh, um, sort of consecutively catch Pokemon of the same type, right? Oh, so yeah, if, if like, you just bonus. keep, if you catch, like, ten Pidgeys in a row, um, yeah. you get uh, a sort of um, scaling experience point bonus. Yep. So, whereas, like, a normal catch would get you, like, 50 experience points, uh, after the tenth one, you get, like, 150 experience points instead. So it really yeah. starts to ramp up. So I, I might be a tad overleveled. Um... Also, yes. uh, Misty gives you Scald as a TM, which is like, that's an ability that they use competitively. So it's like, oh, well, I'll teach this, that, and then I never have to use any other ability because <laughs> it's super powerful. Yeah. One thing that I really do like, actually, about this is that your Pikachu or Eevee um, learns the moves of like Cut and stuff like that. Okay, like so they're they not HMs. Automatically. Mm -hmm. So they're not HMs. No, it's like it kind of automatically learns them. Like you're given it because they want to teach it to you as the trainer. But instead, your Pikachu or Eevee learns it. Okay. But I, mean, I, I knew that it's just like they just do ride Pokemon like stuff. So yeah, like, but... like they do in Sun and Moon so that you don't use HMs anymore, that it's just now like an external function. Yeah. So, yeah, um, which I do like. I do like not having to have like a, a dead slot an in your HM party where yeah, it's HM just machine. everybody. They, they just know four HM moves, yeah. um, especially in Gen 3 when there were three separate HMs specifically for water travel. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It was like, what, Waterfall? Surf and uh, four, I guess, because uh, there's surf, dive, whirlpool, and waterfall. As I say, I, re I, re I remembered the I remembered the other three. I forgot about yeah. um dive. Yeah. Um. But and actually, when you think about it, the only reason why HMs are HMs and they and you can't forget those moves is because HMs, um, those moves get you to places where, like, if you then unlearned the move, you wouldn't be able to get out of it. Yeah. Uh, whereas, like, moves like Rock Climb were not the case. Yeah. Because that was also a weird thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, the uh, HMs versus TMs. Yeah, but I'm glad they got rid of it, and TMs are multi-use now. Um, yep. And that they give you better... <laughs> they give you better moves now as rewards for beating gym leaders. Uh, Headbutt mm -hmm. and Scald are infinitely better than Bide and Bubble Beam. Ugh. Yeah, Bide's just Bide. a weird one. Bide. It's, um, yeah, you don't do anything for three turns. Uh, and you then deal back, uh, like, twice the amount of damage that you took during that time. Yeah. But you also have to survive. <laughs> yeah. So, that's always the problem. It, Pokemon really boils down to is Rocket Tag, is whoever attacks first and deals that amount, and try, basically tries to one-hit KO you. Um... Or you and you trying them. to avoid that. Or you leech seed them. Yeah, competitive gets a little weird um, in that, like, they don't do that strategy, but, like, there's still plenty of teams that are all-out attackers or revenge sweepers and stuff where it's... Oh, yeah, I'm usually an all-out attack, but... Yeah, or you are basically trying to work your way up to one-hit KOing, so... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but... it makes it a little weird in that regard, but... <laughs> uh, but, yeah, that's what I'm playing. Um, I think... I think after Moonlighter, probably go back to Pokemon um, and finish that out. And by then, it might be time for, like, Link's Awakening or something like that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Or maybe yeah, doing some Warcraft. Yeah, that comes out in September. Yeah. Maybe so. go back to just uh, doing dailies or something. 
for Warcraft or, or leveling gnomes. Oh god. Level all the gnomes. I threw up a little bit. You know what the best part is is uh since I've leveled all of my gnomes from you know the base level except for my death knight. Um mm-hmm. I'll be able to get heritage armor with them. Um that's actually that's a good point is I don't know if heritage armor works with death knights cuz you didn't level it up from level 20. I don't know. But there's only 50 more days until Link's Awakening. So. Ah, I thought you were going to say uh, my wedding. Because <laughs> it's it's about the same amount of time. I mean, it's close. It's pretty close. It's, it's, it, the game comes out, I think it's a Tuesday. Games usually launch. Yeah. And then you get married that weekend. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I, yeah, I think I might. Nintendo's weird and likes to do Fridays. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. No, it's uh, it actually does release on a Friday, um, yeah. and then the next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know more people will be able to pick the game up and then just start playing it, and not have to take a day off or something. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, you so. know, or they like me and they don't work Fridays. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. So that wraps it up for me. Yeah. Josh. Okay. Uh, As I say, a little Before bit of you... TFT, a little bit of TFT. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, stuck in gold league. Can't. I just, I'm not that good, and I refuse to play stupid the meta. I don't want to play stupid Yordles. Screw them. Uh, hey, screw you. <laughs> that, that's a that's a deep cut for Courtney. Yeah. Yeah, actually, with that, I actually legitimately do have to get ready for work. But <laughs> at least there's no, no Timo. Timo's not, not in it, that. so that's good. I'm not hearing anymore. Oh, the actually, worst. But before Last Courtney leaves, this just in. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, I I forgot to put in the notes. Uh, there was also a new hero mentioned for Heroes of the Storm. Huh. Yeah, I saw. Uh, Too Kira. bad my Blizzard account got hacked and deleted, so no more Blizzard games for me. Yeah. Oh. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, she's like a bounty hunter, um, and she's like the predator, where <laughs> she's got all skulls of everything on on her mm-hmm. living room, um, and she has a sword that turns into a chain blade. Cool. That she uses to grappling hook her way around everywhere. <laughs> so, anyway. All right, well, guys, I'm sorry I got to go. head out early. Yep. Bye, everybody. Enjoy listening to Josh talk about Fire Emblem. Yep. They will. Bye. They better. <laughs> Bye. All right. So, yeah, TFT. Uh, okay. I play a few games here and there just because, I don't know. There we go. As much as I hate the game, sometimes it makes me really angry. Yeah, uh, <laughs> understandable. I, I, do, I like the mechanics of it. I, you know what I find about TFT that I wish it was more like you have your deck pre, like your heroes de- or your build pre-built before the game, like yeah. a card game. Yeah, I I don't like. I do and I don't like that. You're kind of at the whim of what comes into your hand and what other people are shoot because, like for example, one cost heroes there's 36 of them of any given one in the pool yeah that you can get so but if players are taking them so say one player's going gunslinger build and like you want to go gunslinger build well then you're gonna have a harder time if there's a couple people pulling those characters from the pool they'll they're less likely to show up in your hand each round yeah so I mean, it's interesting because it kind of forces you to look at what other people are doing and you can click on other players and see like what heroes they have on the board and what they have on their bench and kind of what they're going for. So you can work on that. It's just like, that's a lot of work. I kind of just want my, I want my deck and I want to play it. I want to play what I like, kind of like I would in magic or Hearthstone or whatever, but still I'm playing that. Um, I finished my book last week and I started the second one. This one's called mad ship. Okay. Uh, so I told you the premise of this is like, um, it's all nautical. That's about trade traders and pirates and, so there's these traders, trader families, and a lot of like the really rich ones have these sh- ships that have um, what the heck's the front of the ship called? The skull. Uh, oh my God, I, it's in this a million times, but I can't the... remember the word. Uh... Like the carving of the person at the front of the ship. Yep. You know. Uh, now I can't remember. Uh... I can't. The word I'm bl- drawing a blank. I know it's like and it's, it's mentioned. It's like, not the figure every head, freaking page. It's something it's like here. that. Figurehead. Figurehead. It's something like that. Yeah, but whatever. Basically, because they use this magical wood, like after a certain amount of family members die on the ship, 
Ooh. they come to life. Ooh. And so like some like the really fancy trader families have these things called live ships that are sentient ships that sail better and like have all the knowledge of the family that's been passed through it and like yeah. the channels and passageways and stuff. So it's about that. And like, there's pirates trying to steal them. There's a pirate trying to steal one. And there's a lot. And it's, I, it was hard for me to get into it first because it's pirates and ships and stuff. And it's not really my deal, Yep. but the characters are really good in it. So that's nice. for that carries it enough for me. Like the character writing is really good. So like my favorite character is this, he's a 14 year old boy named Wintro and he was training to be a priest but his father like pulled him out of it because he needed him to be on his live ship because he needed like somebody because he didn't have the correct family. But he married into the family of the ship he captaining. So he yeah. needs somebody like his son has the actual family blood to connect with the ship and, okay. and bond with it. So it's like this whole struggle is like, well, I want to be a priest. I don't want to be on the ship. I have no interest. Like I just want to do my priest stuff. Yeah. And then there's like you know, pirates and all this stuff. And there's these serpents that go around following the ships and, it's interesting, and the character, like I said, the characters are good, and it follows many different points of view, so it doesn't just follow one person. So you get to see things happening okay. um, from lots of different points, which is nice. And all the characters are, are pretty interesting. And yeah, there's one that's kind of not interesting. There's like a teenage girl that's like, "I want to marry the fanciest lad," and that's like her character arc. But I th it's it's actually I think it's better because I think it's gonna get like, well, you're gonna have to do something else that you're not going to like. And it's okay. more, more interesting for the reader. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Cause she's like the spoiled brat teenage girl. And I see and okay. her, all her stories are like going behind her parents, like her mother's back trying to do what she wants, but I yeah. think it's all going to backfire in her face, which is going to be great. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, been reading that and enjoying it. Um, TFT. And then the, a little bit of Marvel Alliance okay. before, Fire Emblem dropped on Friday. Yep. And that is just all I'm doing, pretty much. Uh, I'll pick up my Switch. I'll play. I'll sit on my bed here and play it until the battery's about to run out. Yep. Put it on sleep mode, charge it for an hour or so, do something else, and pick it back up and keep going. So Fire Emblem Three Houses is a tactical or strategic RPG. Yep. Um so like the main mechanic of combat is there's a grid and you move your characters around on that grid. Yep. Um, and they have different abilities and blah, 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 blah. There's all that. Um, so the setting of the story is takes place at a military boarding school. Yeah. It's all medieval setting. Um, and so how it starts is you're this young mercenary guy with your father and you just happen to run across the three leaders of the different schoolhouses who are getting attacked by bandits. You rescue them and you get pulled back to the, it's all, it's all, it's a monastery and it's a school because it's for the <laughs> goddess. It's like this weird religious boarding school kind of deal. And there's like knights that live there and you find out, Oh, your father used to be the captain of the knights here. And then, the head of the school's like, Oh, you saved my students. You should be a professor here. This, this sounds like, uh, when on my second playthrough of Skyrim, when I went to the college of Winterhold as, uh, an Argonian that was specializing in heavy plate and two handed weapons <laughs> yeah. and no magic whatsoever. They were like, what magic can you do? And I was just like light. They were like, okay, yeah. you're in. Archmage you're, you're, the, of the universe. you're the best wizard. Yeah. Archmage. <laughs> what kind of ha What kind of magic do you practice? Hammer magic. What kind of magic is that? <laughs> Sprinting through dungeons with a two handed hammer. Basically with, with Volendrung, the artifact hammer, just smashing things that yeah. it sounds like that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're like, Oh, we just lost professor. We have room for a new professor. So oh. like, let's you, you, why not? You're the captain of the knight's son. So you should be good enough and you save our students. Why not? Okay. okay, sure. And then a lot of it's like people are like, I don't trust you for a lot of like the first quarter of the game. Like, yeah, like you just showed up here and you're a professor. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm sitting there like, yeah, they're right. <laughs> but, so as you're doing that, you're like, the other two professors are like, well, since you're new here, we will let you pick which class you want to teach. So you, you got to pick from one of the three classes. There's the golden stag or deer i don't know golden uh, stag i think it's yeah gold like golden black deer eagle which is uh, the obvious choice best choice black eagle and 
I don't know, blue barracudas. I don't know, the dumb paladin boy. I don't know, some blonde haired uh, knight it boy. It should be blue barracudas. Yeah, I don't know. They're the blue team. Some blonde boy I don't care about was their leader. He's Mister Goody Goody. I don't like him. All right, hang so on. I hang on, folks. Picked... We're gonna we're gonna find. I Fire picked Emblem. Black Eagle. Three houses. They're they're edgy. Blue lions. Blue lion. Of course. I, I like lions. I like blue barracudas better. <laughs> yeah, blue barracudas. Let's Legend of the Hidden Temple. So I obviously pick. So I'm actually curious in what I play now to see how the story. I'm sure a lot of it's just the same. Yeah. Depending, but I just got to a point in the story that was a pretty, well, kind of saw it coming, but a pretty big twist. And I'm curious how the other classes will react to it. So I, I don't know. It, it'd be interesting to see how this major plot event plays with it because it, it, it has, there's no other way. It has to be totally different for the other classes because of what happens. But so each class has their own group of students that you take and like you teach and you take in the battle. Um, I don't know how, how it's hard to tell how the other ones exactly are. But anyways, so how the game works is it's at least in the beginning, it's set up in monthly increments. So every month they'll be like, here's your mission at the end of the month. Here's what you got to do. Yeah. But every week you got to teach your classes and you get one day off every week to do, you'll have options. So on your day off, you can either one explore the school and the monastery, which means you go around talking to everybody and doing little side quests and basically just getting to know everybody and upping your relationship with everyone. Oh my God. It is Josh York. <laughs> it it yeah. is fire emblem. Josh York. Edition. Yeah. So like one of the things <laughs> is like you can go to the dining hall and eat with your students and it ups your relationship with them. You can uh, like you find lost items around the mm -hmm. monastery and it'll be a description of like, this would belong to somebody who likes fishing. And like, okay. you kind of got to know the students like, Oh, who would that belong to? Okay. Or you can just go to the students and like click on every item until you figure out the one that belongs to them, which is sometimes I do. Um, you can fish. There's a little fishing pond. Uh, there's gardening and all that stuff. For some reason, that stuff ups your professor level. And somehow that makes you a better teacher when you fish and garden, but whatever. Uh, Maybe you're actually the professor of like survivalism. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you're, you're actually kind teaching of the, the professor bear girls. of combat mostly, but yeah. So there's a lot of different systems and things to level up. So you have like your professor level, which gives you like the higher that is, the more stuff you can do when you explore. Like the more times you get meals with people, okay. the more like you can find different faculty in the monastery and have them like teach you specific things. So like you can find a, somebody, a faculty who's like really good at swords and they can up like have them teach you how to get your sword skill up a little bit. Um, so now, are, so because I know there's the weapon triangle in Fire Emblem. Are yeah, you restricted a... to being a sword user? No. Or can your, your character ca wield or or can your main, main character, character wield different weapons? character. Yeah. It's really going to push you to swords. Okay. It's, All right. It's really heavily going Now that doesn't mean because you can still level up other things. You can level up whatever. And each character and all the students too have different things they're specifically good at mm -hmm. and it's easier for them to level up. Yeah. Some of them they're just whatever and there's some things that they're not good at and it's really hard for them to level those things up. And other some things they have um they have like a hidden talent sometimes. Ooh. So like some of them you'll see they'll be like a little three-star thing next to something they like aren't trained in at all. Yeah. And if you train it up for them, they'll eventually learn like a secret skill in regard to that. Ooh. And so sometimes it's like, oh, here's the magic guy, but you can see he's got a three star next to Lance's. So it's like, oh, secretly he wants to be a knight, I guess. And like, so it's it's worth it to, because you know what? In battles, they're going to naturally level up what they're working on anyway, because they, they use that in combat and levels up that way. Yeah. So there's that. Um, so there's like your professor level to level up. There's like your just level up level, like your general level that increases your general stats in combat and stuff. Yep. Every student has that. There's their, your skill levels and all the different weapons and everything. <laughs> um, there's like your relationship levels of all the different students. So 
you have your main class yep. and it has like your eight characters that you have on your team but you can also recruit you can steal other people from other classes if you get your like relationship up high enough with them or if it's a combination of that i haven't figured it out exactly i was trying to read up on it but it's a combination of that and uh like they like if a certain character likes strong people who use heavy armor like your heavy armor and strength has to be at a certain level before they'll Okay. Join your team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's this one guy I like because he's like this big stocky guy, and all he likes to do is like eat and lift weights. I'm like, I want him on my team. He's yeah, like, <laughs> he's he's my boy. That sounds great. <laughs> but he's in a he's in a yeah like he, he's got to be in my team. He's got to be my tanky boy, and uh, but I can never get him because he's like, oh, sorry, professor, I gotta go train now. See you later. <laughs> and it's like it's like this character is not ready to join you yet. He likes strength and heavy armor. <laughs> So I guess my like heavy armor skill isn't high enough on my main yeah. character, and I'm sure my my strength's higher than anybody else. But I but I've never trained my main character in heavy armor, so it's probably got to be a certain level before he'd be like, "Oh yeah, you're good." Oh no, so you that, can do that that means you got to train in everything. You, depending, so I think that's a way for you, kind of built in that you couldn't. Like maybe you could. I mean, it'd be I, hard I certainly to recruit every single person. I actually, onto your class. I actually hope that you can't just train in everything because I've played a couple of games where you could do that. And then I was like, well, what's the point then? You can train in a lot, but I don't know. Maybe if I spent, I didn't spend a lot of my explore time getting trained by other teachers and specific things, which would be the easiest way for me to train up in everything. Yeah. I spent more of my time doing like meals with students and stuff like that to build up my relationships. So one mainly because you perform better in combat if you are near people with good relationships to you on the on the field. So I spent a lot of my free time doing that other than getting taught by other teachers. And yeah. so you can explore on your day off. Another thing is you can go to a seminar. Uh, so a seminar is basically one of the staff will in like, oh, this, this staff is going to train a seminar today on swords, lances, and faith magic. And you can you and a bunch of students can go to that seminar and you'll get a boost in those skills. Uh, the other thing you can do is go do battles on your day off, like training missions. So I did a lot of that just because I wanted to overlevel my group to make them super strong. Um, just because that's how I like to play. And so a lot of times, and then as you get farther in, there'll be like special battle missions and um, special battle quests you can do on your days off too. Um, and like side quests specific for specific characters that you can do on your day off. Um, and then like there's a class system, uh, like a job system in it. Um, it's not crazy in depth. It's just like if you're good at swords, you would naturally progress to like through these classes because that's just it's all based off your weapon skills mostly okay. or your magic skills. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you want to be uh, you start off as a commoner. And you use swords, your sword skill is going to get you up, and then you can be a Myrmidon, and then your advanced class can be sword master, and then there's like a master class. Um, and then you have to pass an exam to be able to unlock those classes oh, with the no. character. Oh, no. So all that means is your skill level with this, that yeah. weapon has to be a certain. I mean, if it's lower, like you can have a 60% pass rate, and you could try. Okay, but I did try that on my main character, and he failed. I had, he had a seventy-five percent chance because I've been doing swords with him, and it's like, oh, the hero class wants swords and axes, but my axes was super low. It's like, oh, seventy-five percent chance. I'll spend the item to try to take the test, and failed. I was like, oh no, it was seventy-five percent. But most of the time, like I said, you'll naturally see like it'll be a hundred percent if they're. You just have to buy the item to take the the exams mm -hmm. and then like the main like the main character gets a unique class at a certain point in the game anyway that works for him so uh and yeah it's the the, the story starts out as like yeah this is combat high school we're medieval combat high school yeah but there's obviously some twists and some there's a lot of there's a little political intrigue because there's like three there's a kingdom an empire and like a yeah, I don't know a a union of trade states. Yeah, that all like send their nobles and and whatever kids there, and it's like a relative peace time. But then there's like oh, there's this stuff with the goddess, and there's like a rogue arm of the church doing some weird stuff. Ooh. And yeah, so 
yeah, it, it's actually getting into the uh, minor spoilers, like the oh, the fight. We need to fight the church and God type uh, type of deal, which is right <laughs> up my alley. <laughs> I was just gonna ask if uh, if you then have to recruit it's your like, students to like, build a robot to it's fight. Basically, God. like is is God the bad guy right now? Yeah. <laughs> it's like the storyline, or is like the goddess or whatever in the church the real bad guy? Yep. So I'm like, oh yeah, perfect. I'm in on this. Uh, and like the the combat gameplay is totally addicting to me, and like planning out my moves, and like I have it on hard mode and classic settings. So that means if somebody dies in oh, combat, oh, you have permadeath on, gone forever. But yeah. here's another catch: your main character has like a a rewind time mechanic. Yes. So it's actually not so bad. And as the higher level you get, the more times you can use that in combat. But usually I. I use it like I don't actually don't use it that often because I'm pretty good at the game. Uh, <laughs> but there are times where like I make a misstep and like some guy in a wyvern will come in and one shot my caster. I'm like, oh, oh no, crap. yeah, or like a lucky crit or something. Yeah, uh, like like that happens. So it's like okay, let's rewind around and like maybe I can move my people to different. And usually that's like okay, maybe I should have put this person here instead. And so it's nice because, like, on the on my 3DS ones, there are a lot of times where I just reset the game because I lost somebody. I'm like, well, gee, that was my best girl. I can't. Yep. I, I need her. <laughs> She's going to be my wife. <laughs> I, I need so her I back. Can't put her in combat. You got to. You got to see relationship relationships, and they become super powerful. Um, but, yeah, I like that. It's it's actually a nice thing. I hope they keep doing this in game. They just, they, they just make that a thing in future games yeah. because it's nice not to have to restart a whole battle over again. It's like you can yeah. go back a few turns and be like, oh yeah. And it's like it's not like you can do it infinitely. You have a finite amount of times you can do that per combat. Yeah. And like I said, I that only happens to me on combats that are particularly sketchy or difficult. Yep. A lot of like the side missions I'm I'm at a point where my guys are so strong that you just we roll through. Even some of the main story like boss fights, like they're not that bad because I've really like I said, between making sure I have high relationships with everybody and I've, I always buy the top gear and upgrade my gear. And like, yeah, there's like a whole blacksmith thing where you can forge weapons, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, there's so much and there's a lot in this game. There's so much. And it just, for me, it, it's like, I feel like I'm getting rewarded with level ups and upgrades all the time. Yeah. Between everything you do. And that's just like releasing that chemical in my brain that makes me feel good. Like, yeah, I'm achieving something and yeah. I feel like I'm, I'm good at the game. And yeah, yeah there's just... There's so much. It's such a great game. It's it's probably gonna be my game of the year for sure. Maybe I, just, I will actually pick up a Fire Emblem game then. It's Maybe. really really good. I highly highly recommend. That's not true. Like, I actually I actually picked up Fire Emblem Heroes a while back on mobile. That's a little different. I mean, it it's definitely a mobile version, but it it has the basic. I mean, elements I guess it. it does have a yeah yeah. Did you play Awakening or nope? I liked Awakening. What was the one that came out when it was like, it was two games. Um, Fates, maybe? Fates. I played that. It was okay. I'd never finished it. For whatever reason, I just couldn't, I didn't get into it. But I remember I really liked Awakening mm-hmm. a lot. Um, and I really, really, really like this game. It's it's fantastic. If you like strategy or tactical RPGs, it's great. It's a little anime at times with some of the tropes, but it's actually not so bad. Um when I first started, I hated half the kids in my class. <laughs> like, I'm like, they just felt very just bland. like real life. <laughs> yeah, no, I love them. Most. It's usually the opposite. There's like maybe a couple kids that get under my skin. Usually, it's I like all the kids. But here's what happened, and it very much like real life, actually, um, was you got to just, know them better, and then exactly. you actually liked them a lot more. Exactly. So, like, I obviously liked the main girl who's out of my class. I'm like. Oh yeah, she's cool. I want to pick her. And then a lot like oh, these guys seem very bland to me at first. And then obviously as you go through the game, you talk to them, like you get an idea of what they're like. And there's like my, the one girl on my team. She's the archer. She like always wants, she wants to hide in her room and not interact with anybody ever. Move. And like, oh, she's me. <laughs> she's just me. Yep. <laughs> I love her. So I spend all my time like <laughs> in my relationship with her. And like as you up your and. And then she ups her relationship with other people in your class too. Uh, and she kind of comes out of her shell a little bit more. I'm like, yes, you can do it. And like, I find myself cheering her on specifically. Yeah. 
because I just relate with that a lot. Yeah. Like not wanting to leave my house and I don't like interacting with people that much. Uh, yeah. And then, then there's like the ladies man guy who annoyed me at first, but then the more you get to know, you're like, oh, he's actually kind of a really good guy. And specifically when you get those higher relationships, like if you played them, when you hit certain, hit certain thresholds with relationships, a little cut scene will come up. And it shows a conversation between oh, the cool. characters. Okay. And it's like, sometimes we'll start out with like, it'd be like, Bernadette, why are you in your room all day? You need to come out now. And like, they physically drag her out of the room. Oh, no. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, uh, later on when they get hired, it's like, I understand Bernadette. I, uh, and, but she's like, oh, but I kind of want to get to know you now. And it's like, it's nice. I don't know. Some of it feels real. I don't know. It, the interactions feel real enough. They're obviously, uh, what's the word? Well, it's it's through the lens of Japanese it's, it's a game, and it's a cartoon kind yeah. of right. So it's it's not exactly real, but it it hits on a lot of themes. For, for like for real, that girl's theme. I think they're totally trying to hit on a real social anxiety theme. Mm -hmm. It's obviously to the nth degree and yeah. and hyperbolic but for sure like i felt a real connection to that character and she's now she's a powerhouse <laughs> she's so strong as an archer she one shots just about anybody on the battlefield yeah. she's so strong and Noted. i always want to say to him like i'm like look how good you are being an archer you need to be more confident in yourself i always think when i'm playing like for the death, be more confident in yourself so yeah it's like you really do I find myself cheering certain characters on and like really wanting them to pursue their dreams and game. Like, Oh, I hope you do. I hope you get what you want. <laughs> it's nice. It's sometimes, Cause it's yeah. a weird feeling that you feel somewhat of a connection to the characters in your class. And then there's certain characters in other classes that I'm like, Oh, I really want to recruit you onto my team. Cause I think you're cool. Or I just think you're a cute girl in the other class that I want in mine now. <laughs> well, that that's a little weird given the, the context <laughs> of the, the thing. It is weird because I will say this. Um, so like your main character is like of an age of all of the kids in the school. You're like very close in age. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah. And there is, and it's Fire Emblem. So there is a, a I'm, I don't know. I know in other ones you could like marry an awakening. For example, you married a certain other character. You could, you had a choice too, obviously of different characters. You could, Mary, and then you would produce a kid yeah. because there was like a, a weird time travel thing in Awakening that happened. Yeah. But yeah, like you, your like progeny would show up in, on your team. Uh, this I don't sure thing trunks. Yeah, exactly. It was very <laughs> DBZ. This I don't think has that. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you will, will one of the females, and I think that there is a same sex option too. It looks like, which is good. I'm glad they they threw that in if it's true. But I think there's a relationship thing. And it's weird because there is a weird, like, teacher-student thing. And sometimes as your relationship gets higher with some characters, it's like, oh, professor, this would is... you do that? I'm no, like, ooh, this no, is a not appropriate. Weird. Not appropriate. But then I'm like, Dr. well, Jones. I need our relationship level to go higher to do better in the game. So I got to. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not a... worth it. It is a weird thing. Not worth it. And nobody seems to think it's weird in the game. But I'm just like, this is a bit strange. This is, this No. This yeah, is not this how is teaching works. Yeah. I mean, there is a hot other female uh, teacher that I, I hit on a lot, but it's always good. That, it's I mean, funny. That, and that's, I also, find myself, that's also a call to HR. Mm, you know how normal that is in, I, I, in schools? Yes. <laughs> Particularly, I know in Pittsfield. Yes. Just saying. Yeah. Very, very normal. <laughs> uh, but... Um, what was I going to say? No. Was, this game's great. I love it. Uh, I'm going to play it right after this. Nice. <laughs> and I think, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I'm halfway through the game or if this is like a one, two, or three act game. Because I just hit part two. And like a big game changing shift. Like we're not in school anymore. It's not about the school anymore. Really. Um, so I don't know. I put probably about 40 hours into this game already and it just came out last Friday. So I've been playing it a lot. We'll see. And I hope, I don't know. I don't know if there'll be DLC for this. I'm curious. So wait, are you on, what chapter are you on? I don't know what chapter. 
Okay. I'm in part two. There's a part, and then there's different chapters within those parts. How many parts? Um, I've not looked because I didn't want to spoil anything for myself. I'm kind of just been playing. Good. It, it's. Yeah, My guess uh, what I can, part... what I can find is chapters. How and, many chapters uh, are there? Maybe I can get an idea. Twenty-two. Oh, then I think I'm probably halfway or more. Okay, would be my guess. Yeah, because I. It yeah, says the game is split like... into three routes, which I presume are what house you side yeah. with, kind of a thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then spoilers. So people that don't want spoilers, you know, earmuffs. There's a fourth secret route. Is there? That's according to Google. Maybe. So, I don't know what that entails, but yeah, there's. It might there's have something to one. do with what just happened in the game for me because Maybe. it was like I said. Yeah. One of the houses does something that definitely changes the whole game for everybody. Ooh. It happens to be the house I'm associated with. So. <laughs> <laughs> what if? What if it's always the house you're associated with, no matter which one? That may... That, I don't know. That's why I'm curious to see kind of the yeah. other path, because I don't think so. Yeah. It wouldn't make sense for the other houses to do that. Yeah. It also says each path is about 50 hours, or each route is about 50 hours long. That makes... That's yeah. probably about right. Because like I said, I've put about... I'd say I put close to 40 hours in, but I spent a lot of time mm -hmm. like doing other stuff. So yeah. that pads it for me a bit. Yeah. But like I said, if you like strategy RPG games, this is the best one out right now. It's great. So big recommendation for me. Cool beans. Yeah. All right. There's so much in it that I probably forgot a bunch, but yeah. <laughs> I, that was pretty comprehensive. Yeah. I think, I think there's more that I missed, but whatever. There's so. a lot. Who knows? Maybe I'll pick it up this weekend and we'll do a bonus game night stream where I play Fire Emblem on stream. Ooh, you have to pick one of the other houses. Uh, uh, I don't know. You don't seem like a Black Eagle house to me. I don't know. Probably deer? I don't know. Yeah, that would be my second choice because I like the leader of that house. I don't... I, none, of the, none of those options really seem all that enticing to me. Like, where, where's, like, my green iguanas? <laughs> or was it orange iguanas? Uh, I don't know. Uh, green monkeys. No. Something. Whatever. <laughs> this isn't Legends of the Hidden Temple. This is the 8-Bit Adventures podcast. Yeah. Uh, and this is us signing out. We are done for the night with that. So uh, if you want to see more awesome content from 8-Bit Adventures, be sure to check out 8-BitAdventures.com. Over there you can find streams, podcasts, artwork, comics, all that awesome stuff. Uh including links to this very podcast. If you like all of that content and you want to help support it, support this podcast, um, you can do a couple of things. Number one, be sure to follow this channel on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash 8bitadventures. Um, you can also follow on social media, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff, just 8bitadventures. Um, or you can become a patron at patreon.com slash 8bitadventures. Patrons can get cool stuff like access to exclusive comics, early access to uh, other content um, and uh, access to cool secret projects. Um, so all that good stuff uh, for as little as a dollar a month. Um, there are also patron exclusive channels on our discord server, as well as patron flair for our subreddit. So all that cool stuff. Um, our opening theme is one up by professor shy guy. You can find his amazing chiptune work over at, ProfessorShyGuy.bandcamp.com. And with that, we are out. So mm. have fun, everyone. Happy gaming. Enjoy your pie cake. And get in your Mac and fight God.